Hello and welcome to Politics Today on Vibes Television. I am your host, Emmanuel Majamish. And here are the three big stories for the week. First, we move with the PDP. The PDP is in the news this time. The PDP Senate Caucus met on Tuesday to resolve um, pending issues in the party. Over time, we've seen um, agitations in the party, bitter spirit, spirit of hatred, as some political analysts might suggest this to say. So, um, the Senate Caucus of the PDP met in Abuja with party leaders, including the presidential candidate and his vice as the person of Alaji Atiku Abubaka and Governor of the Delta State, Ifan Yokoa. So they're trying to seek to bring members um, together to resolve any crisis or any grievances they have ahead of the 2020 general election. And we, we've seen that, um, we've seen the body language of some party leaders or stalwarts or chieftains in the party giving the instance of the governor of the state, BK, who was, um, according to some uh, political analysts, was giving an unfair treatment during the presidential primaries where he came in second. And uh, there was some recommendation made for him to become the running mate of Atiku Abubaka, which the later actually picked uh, the governor of um, Delta State as his running mate. We also seen where the governor of Benue State comes out to say he does not like the treatment that was meted out to the River State governor. That he, uh, the River State governor, should have been consulted before Fayeko is going to pick as a running mate. Well, let's we'll wish them good luck and see what um, plays out and we look from the sidelines and see how everything works for the PDP and their chances in the 2023 general election. Now moving on to the next story which is um, the, the, the buzz, I, I'm going to call it the buzz because on social media there's a movement called obedience and if you're not obedient they would tell you, uh, can I use the word a hater or someone who does not support the forward movement of the young people and Nigeria has been hacked by them. So the um, Labour Party presidential candidate and former governor of Anambra State, Kito V, is in the news this time. This time he's reacting to reports, alleged reports, that he um, was going to support the PDP presidential candidate in the person of Alajat Kwambaka to emerge successful in the election. But now he's come now to say, contrary to that, he is not going to support Atiku, that he is in the election to win and become the next president of Nigeria. And when he was asked by um, the reporter on the live television program if he would work or if he would uh, be in a situation where he would join forces with the PDP to emerge um, successful in the election, he actually said no. And speaking further about his chances in the next um, presidential election, the former governor said his journey, his political journey has been a tale of miracles because he believes at the bottom of his fate is a miracle. So he says that um, the chances of him winning the election will shock many and come as a miracle because given his political antecedents, we've seen when he started in 2003 when he was elected as the governor of Anambra State. But he, he never became that governor because another person was picked in his place. He went to court challenging the matter and he won and came out and became governor. Since Modi though is a um, tenure, he was impeached by some lawmakers. He went to court again to seek redress and the court granted him favor. He came back as governor. He came back as the first Nigerian governor to come back from um, impeachment and become the governor and also the first Nigerian um, governor to also complete a term that was um, that was being taken to court because they said his term has elapsed so he challenged that decision. So he said he's going to emerge successful in the election, that he has what it takes to emerge the next president of Nigeria. Well, we watch and see and wish him good luck in all his endeavors as we as spectators we just watch and analyze and say things as they are. Finally, PDP is in the news and this time it's River State, the state that causes a stir and draws attention of everybody that listens to River State because they've been in the news for various reasons, whether good or bad, but they've always been in the news. And this time the PDP in the state is dragging the Independent National Electoral Commission for the Court Federal High Court. It's seeking redress that all parties that conducted their primaries, including the APC and other political parties in the state, that their primaries and congresses should be notified. The PDP have been arguing in court in front of different judges that the primaries conducted by these um, political parties is not in accordance with the electoral law as amended. They said they are arguing that the parties didn't conduct the, their primaries and congresses with the um, monitoring of INEC and other uh, observers. They said they did um, the, the primaries without the knowledge of INEC and on that stand should be disqualified. 
well, there have been um, arguments and counter arguments in court to challenge that decision. The lawyers of other political parties are enjoying up for what we're going to see a week of uh, mitigation in the courts. Well, let's see how this thing plays. We could remember in 2019 in River State where there was this kind of scenario where a particular party challenged the other party in court, still on the same issue of the primaries not being um, properly um, monitored by INEC which um, I think marred the chances of APC in the election, part of what marred the chances of the APC in the election not appearing in the ballot. So we all know what played that in 2023 general election. This is where we'll drop the curtains for today's show. For more information, you can visit our website at vibestv.com. You can also drop your comments, follow and like us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Vibes Television.